Most patients who experience a shoulder dislocation will have immediate onset of pain and even some deformity to the level of the shoulder. This typically happens during sporting events, but in chronic cases, this can happen with everyday activity. Most shoulder instability happens from a torn labrum in the shoulder and reduced amount of tension on the ligaments that connect to that labrum. Shoulder instability is typically diagnosed with a comprehensive physical examination in the office, and if we suspect that there may be a labral tear, we will order an MRI study of the shoulder. Most shoulder instability can be treated conservatively with physical therapy and rotator cuff strengthening exercises. For those that fail conservative treatment and have persistent instability, a surgical repair is often recommended. Most patients with shoulder instability should be evaluated by a board-certified, fellowship-trained orthopedic sports medicine surgeon.